share this illustration all the time. You can drink a bottle of water, and the water is in you. But if you jump into a pool, the water is now on you. We need to get to that place where we just dive into the Holy Spirit. That we dive into his presence. That not only is he indwelling, but he's overwhelming. Not only is he living inside, but he's baptizing us. Amen? Not only are we drinking the water, but the water has completely covered us. We've dived headfirst into the presence of God. Amen? If there's anything that I want to be overwhelmed with, if there's anything that I want to be completely overwhelmed with, it's the Spirit of God. Amen? If there's anything that I want to be overwhelmed with, it's, by, it's the Spirit of God. Jesus. 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 You can take your seat if you can, except for the worship team. Wow, 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 wow. Jesus. This is awesome. Jesus. 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 <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. How many of you guys want to be overwhelmed by the presence of God? Come on, that was okay. That was like, yeah, I want to be overwhelmed on Sunday morning. I want to be overwhelmed on Sunday. How many of you guys want to be overwhelmed by his presence? Yeah, that's better. That's much better. I've been overwhelmed by a lot of things. How many of you guys, I've been overwhelmed by fear at times. Come on. I've been overwhelmed by anxiety. Come on. I've been overwhelmed by stress. But that moment that I step into his presence, I'm so overwhelmed by his spirit that those things can no longer exist in my life. The moment that you're overwhelmed by the presence of God, the moment that you're overwhelmed by his spirit, remember light and dark can't coexist. Remember that. Light and dark cannot coexist. So that moment that you step into God's presence, that moment that you step in and that you dive all the way in, you're so overwhelmed by his presence that everything that you're dealing with, everything that you're going through, everything that the enemy might be trying to bring against you, those things cannot stay around. They have no place. They have no authority. Amen. We're a victorious people, right? We, we're more than over overcomers, right? More than conquerors. We're victorious, right? I used to wrestle growing up, wrestled since I was a little kid. And when I got to high school, our wrestling team was one of the top wrestling teams in California. We were so, so good that I was just a freshman. And, and the, the, the guys that were on the varsity team were state placers and state qualifiers. So there was no way that at a freshman level I was going to be on varsity. But I just remember putting on that jersey, on that warm-up, walking into other campuses like, you want to wrestle me? You see, you see this right here? You, green and white, jackrabbits. You see that right there? There was this confidence that I had because of the team that I was on. Amen? Walking into the gym, walking into a wrestling tournament like, oh, I got to wrestle you? Let's do this. There was a confidence that I had because of the team that I was on. There's a confidence that I have being a son of the living God. There's a confidence that I walk in, a confidence that I live in, and it's not because anything that I've done, it's not because of anything that I can do. Greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. And the moment that I position myself as a son, the moment that I position myself under the hand of my father, then I'm going to win no matter what I face. Amen? Just lift up, lift up your hands in this place. Lift up your hands. God, I pray that tonight we receive all that you have for us, God. 
God, we come expecting, God, we come with a hunger and a thirst, God. I ask that you would just fill up your people tonight. God, let us be overwhelmed by your presence, God. Let us be overwhelmed by your presence, Jesus. Jesus, have your way in this place. Amen, amen. I'm so excited for tonight. I'm so excited for our, uh, our guest speaker tonight. And uh, by the looks of it, you guys are excited too. Well, we had to pull out the rest of our chairs. It's so packed in here. This, this is awesome. This is awesome. This is so awesome. I had a, I met Ben uh, through email at first. We went down to L.A. He had uh, Todd Bentley down at his church. We went down there to go see him. And so we kind of just connected through emails. And so the first time I met him, it was at this meeting. And uh, we were able to connect later on at a, at a conference and spend some time together. And I just, I loved, I loved being around him. You know, we were only together a couple hours that day. But I just loved being around him. You know, they say that you are who you hang with, right? You are who you hang with. This guy is so on fire for the Lord. He loves Jesus so much. He loves people so much that I said, I, I, I want to hang around this guy. I want to hang around this guy. You know, you know the, the, the story in Acts when, when they were accusing the disciples and then they said, hey, these guys are unlearned men. They must have been with Jesus, right? I'm hanging out with Ben and I'm like, man, this guy, he, he must spend some time with Jesus because he carries something for sure. So I knew after I, I spent that day with him, I had to have him come up here. And uh, so I'm really, really, really excited for what he's about to bring tonight. So I want you guys to do me a favor. We want to make him feel welcome. We want to make him feel at home. So I want you guys just to give him a round of applause. Make some noise for Pastor Ben Lim. Amen. Come on, make some noise. Make some noise. Make some noise. Yeah, let's just keep soaking in the glory, amen. Come on. Does anybody love the glory of God? Hallelujah. The glory is our home. The throne zone is where we dwell. Yeah, if you could just lift up your hands right now. I just want to sing a prophetic song over us. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. And I believe the Lord is going to break out tonight in a new fresh wave of worship in a new realm of glory. Oh, there's no other name. There's no other name like yours. Oh, da, 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 da. Why don't you just begin breaking out in your own song right now? You don't got to wait for me. You don't got to wait for a worship leader. You don't got to wait for Pastor Esteban to begin to lead you in a song right now. I want you to just begin to open up your voice right now. Begin to release utterances, moans, and groans from your heart, from your spirit, from your soul. That no English words, no Spanish words, that no English, no human vernacular can express. And if you're feeling the fire, if you're feeling the presence of God, I want you to just begin to stand right now. You're free to worship right now. If you're feeling the fire, the presence of God, I want you to stand up right where you are. Just begin to worship the Lord. Come on. Ha, ha, ha. There is no restraint. There is no constraint right now. You're free. You're free. You're free. You're free. Come on. Release your hunger right now. Come on, just press in a little bit more. Keep tearing in a little bit more. Come on, come on, come on, lift it up. Lift up your hunger. Don't let nobody, don't let nothing, no thing can ever stop you. No thing can ever come in between you and the Holy Ghost. Come on, everybody, lift up your hands and shut out fire. Come on. Come on, shut out fire. Shout fire! Come on, give the Lord a shout of praise! Hey! Come on, just reach out into heaven. The Lord is giving you keys. The Lord is giving you breakthrough. The Lord is releasing miracles right now. All you got to do is reach out your hand. All you got to do, oh, oh, the kingdom of God is within your reach. The kingdom of God is within your hand. Come on. 
main. Lève ta prière. Lève ta prière. Et tu veux me chanter. Chara. Alléluia. Come on, if you're feeling the glory of God, shout out hallelujah. Yeah, let's just be still before the Lord for a moment right now. I get the sense the power of God moving so strong right now. I don't want to quench your Holy Ghost. My best friend, I don't want you to be quenched right now. Take us higher. Take me deeper. Take me deeper still. And I know that you've been weary, my child. And I know that you've been feeling weak and small. I just see the hand of the Lord just coming with grace right now. I see the hand of the Lord just coming in with grace. Help is on the way, says the Lord. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. If you feel, if you receive that word in your spirit, man, come on, give the Lord a shout. Help is on the way. Hey, 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 hey. Ha, 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 ha. Help is on the way, says the Lord. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just see somebody's right hand right now. Uh, whoo, man, I'm feeling, the, uh, I'm feeling good right now. Uh, I just see somebody's right hand. I, I just see somebody's right hand that you've been having problems. Like it's, it's been like twitching. I, th uh, I believe it's arthritis, but I just keep seeing somebody's right hand where there's been difficulty holding and grabbing things, and it's just twitching around. Who is that right now? I believe the Lord is touching your right hand. I see the fire, the power of God going up your fingers right now. Who is that? Wave your hand if that's you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, wave your hand high if that's you. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, just lift up your hand right now. Yeah, 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 Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. I want everybody to stretch out your hands towards them. Can you do that? Yeah, 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 stretch your hands. Yeah, the ones who have their hands raised, stretch your hands out toward them. Come on, just begin to release your spirit. If you don't pray in a heavenly language, then I guarantee you that right now, the Lord will open up your mouth in the name of Jesus. So begin to open up your spirit, open up your mouth on the count of three. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke arthritis right now. Bam, 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 bam. In the name of Jesus, ho, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I just see the Lord touching somebody's, uh, the right side of your neck right now. Somebody's been having a lot of pain on the right side of your neck right now. Whoever that is, just wave your hand right now. Wave your hand. The Lord is healing you. The right side of your neck. The right side of your neck. Wave your hand if that's you. The Lord is touching your neck right now. And earlier I saw somebody, ha, ha, ha. I saw somebody, uh, pain in the right side of your mouth. It, it might be your gums, it might be your tooth, but somebody's been having pain in the right side of your mouth. Wave your hand, whoever that is right now. The Lord's going to touch you right now in Jesus' name. Yeah, yeah, just put your hand over your mouth. Yeah, just put your hand right there. Yeah, yeah, put your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah, in the name of Jesus. Bam, 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 in Jesus' name. Yeah, yeah, new teeth, Lord, new filling in the name of Jesus. No more bleeding. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, jaw problems. Who's been having jaw problems? Problem the jaw. Yeah, just put your hands over your jaws right now. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bam, bam, bam in Jesus' name. No more popping, no more popping out of place, no more clenching in Jesus' name. New bones, bam, bam, bam. Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Ho, 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 ho. Everybody say ho. Everybody say whoa. Ha, 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 ha. Woo. And I also saw uh, somebody's like right ear, somebody's right ear where you've been having ringing noises. Who's that? Somebody in the right ear, you've been having ringing noises. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, Eric from my own church. Anybody in the right ear, you've been having ringing noises in your right ear right now. Yeah, Holy Spirit. Now, I, I just see a vision of somebody even right now. Uh, I believe it may have been a, like a domestic uh, violence or a physical abuse situation, but I see somebody getting hit in the face on the right side of your face, and it, it damaged the right side of your face. 
and it damaged the right side of your face. I, I, I see the cheekbone being damaged. Who was that? If you could just wave your hand right now. Yeah, Holy Spirit. Yeah, just put your hand. Yeah, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I speak life and healing right now, Lord. Holy Spirit, life and healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you for forgiveness right now. Thank you for forgiveness right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Complete forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Yeah, there it goes. Bam, bam, bam. Woo, hey. There it goes. Hey, ka da ba da ba da ba da ba 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. da 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 Somebody's right knee is being healed right now. Fire of God. Fire, 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 fire. I don't know if somebody's right knee has been swollen. I, I just, yeah. I, I keep seeing a swollen right knee. Is that you, ma'am, in the back? Yeah, swollen right knee. Yeah, just put your hand on your knee right now. The Holy Spirit. Oh, ma, 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 ma. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, no. Thank you. If you're feeling a difference in your body right now, can you just wave your hand? If you're feeling a shift, a difference in your body, yeah, just wave your hand. All right, amen. Hallelujah. We don't want no gimmicks. We want the real thing. Hallelujah. We want the tangible presence of God. If you're feeling blessed right now, come on, give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so good. Woo. Holy Spirit, we love you, Lord. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, so good. Whew. All I need is you, God. All I need is you, God. All I need is you, God. Later on, I'm going to lay my hands on everybody, and I'm just going to pray for you guys. If you're believing for a different divine healing in your body, I'd be honored to partner and pray with you. I didn't feel led to invite people to invite people up right now so I can lay my hands and pray for you right now because I believe that the Holy Ghost can touch you and heal you right now in Jesus' name. But I, I, as I was singing, I saw somebody with a, a like a, a, a problem in their throat. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if it's been a strained voice or if it's been um, a, a continual problem in your throat. Who is that? Can you wave your hand? Yeah. Can you wave your hand if you've been having a yeah, problem in your throat? Yeah, right now. Right now. Put your hand over your throat, brother. Yeah. Right now, in Jesus' name, I command the esophagus oh, to be healed. Touch, 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 touch. To God, Señor, in the name of Jesus. Fuego de Dios. No mas. No mas, Dolores. Bam, 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 bam. Ha, ha, ha. In Jesus' name. Touch their throat. Touch his throat in Jesus' name. Oh. I just heard somebody, um, somebody's been having a... Uh, I saw somebody's uh, like throat and even like their uh, esophagus being damaged from drinking. Somebody's been drinking too much where your esophagus has been damaged. I remember when I went to India, first time, or, or Nepal, excuse me, they were doing a healing crusade, and I met a Hindu priest whose eyes became blind because he was an alcoholic, and he began to drink poison. He was drinking rat's poison, which caused his eyes to go blind, and he began to pray for him. His eyes began to gain healing. Amen. Hallelujah. But I, I just saw somebody right now that your throat, your esophagus, esophagus was in pain, even your mouth right now. Somebody, your throat, your esophagus is in pain because of drinking. Now, you may not be in this room, and you may be a little shy or ashamed, but I believe the, I believe it's a man, hallelujah, whoa, whoa, and even a woman, I see right now, a woman who's been having problems smoking cigarettes, but the Lord is going to touch you, touch your mouth, touch your esophagus, in the name of Jesus. If you're receiving it for somebody, if you're receiving it for yourself, say amen, come on, bam, 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 I believe here, I, I hope you hear me, I believe here in the high desert, the Lord is going to break off addictions tonight, amen, the Lord is going to break off addictions, the Lord is going to gonna break off who oh, the Lord hey the Lord is gonna hey the Lord is gonna break off spirits of anger generational curses of torment the Lord is gonna break off lies oh ha ha Santa Maria oh is not in this house can I get a hallelujah hey ha <laughs> ha woo oh my goodness I see those chains falling I see those chains falling hey oh man 
Yeah, yeah, we love you, Jesus. Wow. Woo. If you love Jesus, shout a hallelujah. Woo, come on. If you love Jesus, shout hallelujah over your city. Come on. Hey. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Come on. Thank you so much, worship team. Yeah. Can we give the worship team a round of applause? Amen. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know if you guys turn on lights here or what. Yeah. Hey. There's nothing worth more. <laughs> Sing all your beautiful faces. Hey, everybody say shangy bangy. Good seeing you, Stephanie. I've only seen you on Facebook Live and stuff like that. That's great. Man, it's good to be in the house of God. Is anybody blessed right now? Oh, yeah. yeah, is anybody feeling the tangible presence of God? Yeah. Um, man, there's going to be a fresh wave. It's going to be a fresh wave that's coming here. And I believe every, everybody here wants the real thing. Amen. And I just want to prophesy to you in this region <laughs> that all that you experience, there's more. There's more. All that you've experienced, that will no longer be a plateau or a ceiling for you. But there's going to be so much more. So This region has barely even begun to tap into what God has. And I prophesy and I declare that the Lord is strengthening the feeble knees. He's strengthening the feeble hands and the feeble fingers. And he's going to cause a new worship movement, a new Davidic movement to begin to rise up in this place where the giants, where the Goliaths are going to begin to fall down. And they're going to bow their knees in the name of Jesus. And I declare right now, hey, 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 that the gang members are going to begin to come to Jesus like never before. Come on. Ha, ha, ha. That the rehab centers are going to be swept with the glory of God. Ha, ha. That people are going to begin to be a Erupted and get woken up in their sleep because Jesus is going to be showing them his face in the middle of the night. Come on. I see, I see people, I see vision in the spirit right now. I see visions where people are crying out to God while they're shooting needles in their arms, while they're puffing on another blood, another joint. Now, as they're doing that, they're crying out to God. And I believe that the Holy Ghost is going to crash in and move forth like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. Can we get an amen? The Lord is releasing fresh hope, fresh hope. And I know that many of us, Pastor Tommy and family, you've been tearing, you've been pressing. Man, I honor that. I honor you guys. I know you've been pressing in, but there's a new wave. There's a new move. There's a new breed. Hallelujah. And I'm looking around this room. I see so many young people and younger people. Can I get an amen? I see so many young people and younger people. <laughs> And I believe that God's raising up a new breed. He's raising up a new move of God in this place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy Spirit, I pray that you'll stir us up like never before, O oh Lord. Sure, Rabba, but you'll stir us up like never before, O oh God. Oh, Rabba, Mahe, Kanda, Rabba, Sata. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go into God's Word here. If you have your Bibles, your iPhones, you can turn over to 1 Samuel 3. All right. Um, if you have an Android, you can throw it away. Uh, there's a donation box over there. We could send it over. <laughs> yeah, Holy Spirit. Yeah, First Samuel chapter 3, verses 1. Now, just talking about Samuel's first prophecy. Now, Holy Spirit, I pray that through the revelation by the truth of your word, that you will come forth and encounter us. God, reveal the Son, Jesus. Reveal Yeshua in this place, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. First Samuel chapter 3, we're going to read uh, verses 1 over to 10. And uh, Pastor Eric, can you come forward and just read it from the front? Yeah. Can, can everybody welcome Eric here? Hallelujah. Yeah, he's one of our pastors from our church. Man, bless you, brother. Come on, read it. All right. First Samuel chapter 3, verses 1 through 10. The boy Samuel ministered before the Lord under Eli. In those days, the word of the Lord was rare. There was not many visions. One night, Eli, whose eyes were becoming so weak that he could barely see, was lying down in his usual place. 
the lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel. Samuel answered, Here I am. And he ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. But Eli said, I did not call you. Go back and lie down. So he went and lay down. Again the Lord called, Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. My son, Eli said, I did not call. Go back and lie down. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord. Hmm. The word of the Lord had not yet been, re been revealed to him. The Lord called Samuel a third time. And Samuel got up and went to Eli. Here I am. You called me. Then he realized that the Lord was calling the boy. So Eli told Samuel, go and lie down. And if he calls you, say, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Verse 10. The Lord came and stood there, calling as at the other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel said, speak, for your servant is listening. 4-1. Okay. Verse 19. The Lord was with Samuel as he grew up, and he left none of his words fall to the ground. And all Israel, from Dan to Beersheba, recognized that Samuel was attested as a prophet of the Lord. The Lord continued to appear at Shiloh, and there he revealed himself to Samuel through his word. Chapter 4, verse 1. And Samuel's word came to all Israel. Now the Israelites went out to fight against the Philistines. Is that good? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we all say amen? Uh, I, I believe that God is causing your light to shine like never before. Has your lamp become dim? Has your lamp gone dim in this place? You see, the Bible says that in Revelation that we, the church, which represents the stars, that we are the lampstands of God. Amen. And I believe that God wants to increase your lampstand in this time and this hour. Has your lampstand grown dim? Of course, the lamp, the light, which stands for prophetic revelation. God wants our prophetic revelation, that glory realm, that realm to increase and to shine and manifest. Instead of growing dimmer and dimmer, God wants to become brighter and brighter. Can I get an amen? Where your spirit man becomes so bright that people will begin to pick up different things and different auras in your atmosphere because you're carrying a realm of glory inside of you. Have you become dim? Three times the Lord spoke out to Samuel. Samuel, Hesperia, Vituvo, how many times must I call out? How many times must I call forth? And the Lord is so gracious, hallelujah, how he continues to pursue us, how he continues to chase after us, even when we don't hear, even when we don't get it right the first time, even when we think we missed it and we make mistakes, still God is calling out our name like never before. Samuel, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. God is causing us to be a generation who rather hears more than speaks speaks. Can they get an amen? You see, the problem with us in this millennial generation is we think that everybody has a platform to speak. Yeah, your voice is important. Yeah, your voice matters. Yeah, every life matter, whatever, hashtag back. Yeah, what, what, yeah, everybody has a voice, but is it your time? Is it your turn for you to come up and speak? Everybody begins to trample over each other just because they think they got a tingly feeling or they think they're hearing a word from God instead of having a line and a prophetic line alignment of order to move in the spirit in the kingdom of God. Does anybody hear me? Ho! Oh, this is the generation that rather hears than speaks. So many of us, yeah, I'm 26 years old, and I've been pastoring, I've been ministering for seven years. I've been in 20 countries. In Africa, it will be 22 countries. My father's been a pastor for 30 years. I was born in, in, in a pastor's family. My mother left our family. There was so much abuse growing up. Of course, I went into drugs. I went into a gang activity, and I became a big drug dealer in, in San Fernando Valley, becoming one of the biggest XC dealers in San Fernando Valley. And yeah, I went through hell and back. Yeah, I went through abuse. But still, God called my name. 
still God pursues us, still grace will cause you to return back home. And we're in a generation where God is saying, Hey, mijo, hey, niña, chale. Paciencia poquito más. Hey, carabora vosoto. Come on, don't make me speak in Spanglish up in here. Man, I'm fluent in six languages. Taco is one of them. Hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> but see, this is the generation that is going to rather hear rather than speak. So many people on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. All right, you could go on Facebook Live. Okay. Are you hearing God's word rather than being eager to speak it out? Are you really hearing what Abba Father, what Daddy is saying? You see, Samuel, is everybody hearing me? Is anybody hearing me? He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Some of you need to pick out that earwax. Hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo oh, some. <laughs> yeah, you like that one? Yeah. Some of you need like uh, Q-tips. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, I told you she's in a good spot here. Hey. Woo. Man, I get a whack just looking at her. Hey. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been hearing what daddy has to say over you? Has your ability to hear what daddy's saying grown dim? Has there, for some reason, become layers and veils coming in between? Has there become other lovers? Has there become other spirit beings? Has there become other offerings? Has there become something coming in between you and your relationship with the Father that's causing you to be difficult to hear properly and clearly what he's saying? You see, every single one of us, we're growing in maturity. We're growing to discern the voice, the word of God. Even Samuel, 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 called his name three times. How many times does it take for us to hear him clearly? But still, yeah, but still he speaks because he's looking for one person He's looking for one person to catch it, to hear him, to connect with him, to desire to treasure his word, to desire to cherish that revelation that God is wanting to give. I believe that we are a generation of revelation because we've paid the cost to hear him speak. If you haven't paid the price to hear daddy speak clearly, then where's your lamps and your authority to begin to speak on his behalf? Do you know what Samuel means in Hebrew? Does anybody hear me right now? Samuel comes from the root word Shema. Say Shema. Hey Ma, Shema. Hey Ma, what up? That's right. All right. Because we can go on Shema. <laughs> That's a classic song. All right. I, I love hip hop and R&B. Man, we could hit a freestyle tomorrow, huh, Pastor Vargas? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. You guys want to hear a freestyle? All right. Come back tomorrow. All right. Yeah. It'll be for free tomorrow, right? But see, Shema means to hear simply. Shema means to hear. So what does Samuel's name mean? It means Shema, Samuel, Samuel. L means God. It means God hears and I hear God. Are you hearing God speak? Do you continually need another minister, another pastor to pray for you to speak for you on God's behalf? Yeah. 
You see, Samuel was adopted. The Bible says that every single one of us, we were adopted into the family of God. We were adopted, amen, that we were casted out, we were orphans, we had no father. We were fathered by the father of lies, but now we're fathered by the father of light. We had no his, we had no destiny, excuse me, but now we have a future. We were casted out with no inheritance, but now we're rich. The Bible says that Samuel was adopted by the prophet Eli. And Eli, the priest of Israel, hope you guys are hearing me. I hope you're following me. You guys following me? We're on this journey here, right? I hope you're hearing me. Shema. Hey. <laughs> and, and here's the prophet Eli, the priest Eli. And he says, I'm going to father you. I'm going to take you in. My own children, Phineas and Hophni, they're out prostrating themselves to these women. They're using the altar of God as a way to make money and finances. They're selling their position and they're selling the anointing to get what they want in their own flesh. So the priest Eli, his two sons, were making all of Israel fall away from God, fall into sin. So therefore, the prophet Eli said, that's going on. So I'm going to take you in. I'm going to take you home because I see something on the inside of you. Nobody else might see it. Nobody else might know it, but I can hear it. I can hear something on the inside of you. I can hear a stirring on the inside of you. I can hear a hunger on the inside of you. I can hear the beat of your heart that you're craving and starving for something that's so much greater and so much more than the obvious, than what meets the eye. And the priest Eli said, I want to give you even what my children don't want and have. I want to give you something that will last, Samuel. I want to give you an inheritance. I want to give you an identity. I want you to know the one that I love. And here, Samuel begins to get trained up and begins to get raised up in the house of God. How great is it for our children to be raised up in the house of God? Sherry's children, her four girls, they have visions and dreams and they prophesy. And Sherry, I just pray over you right now. If you lift your hands right now, the Lord can get ready for a new wave of grace. I'm uprooting you and I'm planting you in new places, the Lord. I'm about to bring you to a new place. I'm about to bring you to a, a width and a spacious place. I'm about to bring you to a new place, the Lord. Bam, 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 bam. Gracious place. Spacious and a gracious place. And I've seen you. Man, man, man. See, she drove all the way from San Diego to be here with her family. Yes. Come on, bless her. Can we give her a round of applause? Amen. But how great is it that we can raise our children in the house in the presence of God? How great is it that we can raise adopted children? People that don't even know us, who have no relationship with us, but we see something on the inside and we raise them. I'm telling you, it's time for us to adopt children. I'm telling you, it's time for us to take kids off the streets and teach them how to hear God's voice. I'm telling you that though your own sons, that your own daughters, your own children, they may not honor the presence of God like you so desire and pray that they would. But guess what? I believe that God is going to fill your house with sons and daughters. God is going to fill your house with children. God is going to cause you to go to the highways and the byways, the left and the right, north, south, east, and west, for you to adopt and raise up these children so that they will hear God speak. Because there's nothing like hearing God say your name. There's nothing like God speaking your name. How could it be, beloved? 
that God would say our name. Holy God would say our name in midst of all that we've gone through. Does anybody want to hear Jesus call your name? Hey, Holy Spirit, raise up a Samuel generation, Lord. Raise up a generation who will hear you speak. God is always speaking. Are we listening? God is always speaking. Are we listening? You see, a lot of people, they focus on the works of God. What about the word of God? When you know his word, you'll perform his works. The works will lead you and point you back to the word, the living word, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Many of us focus on the works. No, no, no. What about the word? The living word, the Torah. Where the Ten Commandments came, the stone tablets came out of heaven. Where Jesus came out of heaven as the living word. He was the cornerstone. He was the capstone. He was the rock that was cut out. He came from heaven above and came. The lamp will not go out here. Have you been feeling dim in your spirit? Have you been feeling dim in your heart? Have you been asking for direction? Have you been asking for clarity? Have you been feeling like you don't know where you're going in life? Because all you see is spirits. All you see is darkness and a spirit of depression and suicide, which is going to be broken off tonight. Hey, got to move. Hey. This is crashing around you and caving in. Have you ever felt like you were in that place where you had no revelation, you had no light? Are you ready for your light to shine in Jesus' name? Are you ready for your light to shine in Jesus' name? If you are, say amen. Hallelujah. Here the Bible says, you guys enjoying this so far? It's going to get better. Trust me. And, and, and one thing, I, I just want to share a little bit about me, okay? We could, we could give the words of knowledge, the prophecies, the healings. I love all that. But I love preaching from the Word because I want us to be fascinated by His Word. Not just by the gifts. Also, preaching and teaching is also a gift. But I want us, even as young people, to have a love for the Word of God. Not just chasing ministers and chasing movements and ministries, but feeding and digging in the Word for ourselves. Amen? Yeah, amen. All right, Facebook. All right, Facebook. Bam. All right. Here, the Bible says that, and the Word of the Lord was rare in those days. Verse 1, and there was no widespread revelation. And then here in verse 9, Eli the priest perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Verse 9, therefore Eli said to Samuel, go lie down and it shall be. If he calls you, that you must say, speak, Lord, for your servant hears. I want to focus in on this real quick. Eli, though he may have been a bad father and didn't raise his children the right way, he had a second chance. He had a second chance. So good at that. He had a second chance. Where he discerned and perceived and said, Samuel, God's calling your name. Where are the fathers and the mothers who perceive when you have a calling on your life? Where are the leaders and the mentors who perceive 
that there's a calling and a gift on your life. Rather than trying to hoard you, rather than trying to control you, rather than trying to keep them for yourself, to build up their ministries, but instead they perceive that God has given you a specific calling, so therefore they say, I see something over you. And I'm going to help instruct you so that you will be in the place that you will fully receive and become all that God has for you. I believe Pastor Tommy is one of those fathers. Can I get an amen? I believe Pastor uh, Esteban is one of those pastors. Can I get an amen? I believe Pastor JJ here is one of those pastors. Can I get an amen? I believe God is raising up pastors, leaders, people who will see, recognize, understand, and say, no, 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 no. That's God calling you. There's something bigger and greater than me. There's something bigger and greater. And you may not see it. You may not understand it. But I am going to help you to get into the way. Why, why, why? Because so many times we get out of the way. Why, why? We have fathers, mothers, teachers, mentors in our lives to help us, to help channel. Not to control the anointing, but to channel it. And God is saying, where are the Eli's? You may have been an imperfect father. You may have been an imperfect mother. But I'm going to give you a second chance. Where are the Eli's? Where are the fathers and mothers who receive that grace and say, I have another chance. I can come back at it again. I may have missed that swing, but the second swing, I'm going to hit it out of the park. Come on. Go Dodgers. Hey. Where are the Eli's? If you know you're an Eli, say amen. Hey. You know, that's the problem. That, let me say that, that that's the problem. The problem with our Eli's is that they get stuck in their failures. And they don't want to adopt and pick up and raise up another person in a second chance. Don't you hate it when we beat ourselves the most? Don't you hate it when we're the worst critics, when we are hardest on ourselves? You know, my father, he had a very amazing church. At the age of 11, my birth mother left our family because he was so married to the church. Our church was filled, it was overflowing. All these young youth, Korean youth, were getting saved out of gangs, and they were getting on fire for Jesus. It was awesome, and I was 11 years old. But my dad was so married to the church that, that my mother left our family. Holy Spirit. Brother, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Are you going to be coming back tomorrow? No. Can I just pray for you real quick? Can you just stand up there? Yeah. Yeah, just lift up your hands, brother. Yeah, Holy Spirit, we pray. Everybody just pray for this brother. Oh, Lord God, I thank you. Brother, I speak over you right now. The Lord has given you a second chance. The Lord has given you a second chance. You see, I know people are going, whether, whether it's your time or whether you don't like me or you're not being fed or whatever. I, I'm sorry, whatever. I don't care. But, you know, I want to I wanna bless you, brother, especially because you're leaving because you're just highlighted like your shirt, highlighted green, highlighted yellow. But I just say right now, ho, 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 ho. The Lord is breaking off anger. The Lord is breaking off different addictions. And I see right now over you, brother, that the Lord is touching ahead right now in the name of Jesus. The anointing of God is coming over you. The anointing of God is coming over you. And I see the Lord touching your ankle and touching your knees. And I hear the Lord saying, you're going to begin to run like never before, my friend. You're going to begin to run like never before. Where you've been feeling held back by the voices of men, by the voices of people in your life. I break off those lies, those lying spirits. And the Lord is saying over even your shoulders going to be blessed and touched and healed. And I speak over your life, life, life. No mas espiritu de muerto. No mas Espíritu de Humberto, en el nombre de Jesús, I speak life over you. Well, there's been curses spoken over you. I'll break that, and we bless you. Everybody say, we bless you. One, two, three. We bless you. One more time. We bless you. One more time. We bless you. Come on. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. How you feeling, my friend? I love you, okay? You feeling blessed? You got, you got Jesus in your heart, brother? Yeah? Do you receive all those words and prayers right there? I love you, man. Can I just give you a hug real quick? Come on, brother.
Come on, you guys believe in him? Come on, amen. Holy Spirit. I want to. I want to. Um, I, I, I want to go into uh, like. I want to make two altar calls, two corporate prayers. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to go into uh, personal prayers and, and all that. All right, it's my honor to pray with you, to partner with you. In the spirit of the breakthrough, man. It's really early. You know, it's nine. Who knows? May, maybe we'll go even later. You know, you just know how to, the Holy Ghost just flows and moves, and you know, I, I just love how the Holy Ghost moves and flows. But, uh, you know, I, 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 I want to make a call. Um, I feel like there's been some people, thank you, Pastor. I feel like there's been some people in this room where you need a second chance. Where you need a second chance. Where you feel like you may have failed or you may have missed it. Maybe you feel inadequate. Maybe you feel like you've been beaten down and and you feel let down and disappointed. And you need a second chance. You're believing that there's more. Maybe you felt like you were an imperfect father, an imperfect mother. Maybe you felt like you were a bad leader. You didn't have it all together. Maybe you felt like your, your prophetic vision, your light has become dim. Maybe you've been disappointed. You feel like you've been let down. It's time for your light to shine. It's time for true, fresh revelation to come forth and cause you to shine. Father, listen to our endless prayer. That Jesus prayed to you. children here. Kids, can you just come forward? Yeah, Eric, can you move this altar here? Yeah. Yeah, kids, can you just come forward here? Yeah. If, if you are uh, 18 years old and under, I want to pray for you. I know that Thursday, originally, it's supposed to be a so-called youth night. But like I said, there's a lot of young people and there's a lot of younger people. <laughs> It's amazing, man. Stand over there, man. Yeah. Shura, ma, 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 ma. Oh, Jesus, God. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. Kids, I, I want, I want all of you guys to lift up your hands, okay? Yeah. I believe right now, the Holy Spirit is gonna cause you to hear the voice of your heavenly father okay God's raising you up as a Samuel generation out of your mouth you will sing you will speak you will prophesy because you hear God so clearly I believe many of you right now you're gonna see visions you're gonna have dreams even tonight hallelujah you're gonna see visions right now God's going to meet you in a spectacular way. Do you want to hear Daddy speak to you? Do you want to hear God speak to you? Yeah? Yeah? I know many of you already do, but I believe right now, tonight, right now, it's going to be an increase. You want that? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So, kids, what we're going to do is this. Ha, ha, ha. On the count of three, all right, you're going to open up your mouth, and God's going to release this gift out of your mouth. This gift is called the gift of tongues, or speaking in a heavenly language. Do you know what that is? Wave your hand. 
Yeah, you know what that is? Yeah. All right. Awesome. All right. So what we're going to do is on the count of three, you're going to open your mouth and you're going to speak in this heavenly language. All right. If you don't know how to speak it, all you got to do is open your mouth and release the sound that you hear in your belly, in your mind. Okay. Very simple. Right. All right. So you guys ready to do that? Okay. And do I have like catchers here? Anybody? Is there catchers? I got my own team here as well. Yeah. Uh, so you guys ready to do that? You guys ready to hear God speak to you? Yeah? If you believe it, say, woo! Yeah? Yeah. All right. So what I want you to do, all right, you can close your eyes. You can open your eyes however you'd like. But on the count of three, you're just going to open up your mouth and just begin to pray in tongues, all right? You guys ready? All right, everybody ready? This is, a, this is a Samuel generation, hallelujah. All right, you guys ready? All right? So on the count of three, one, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, a little bit more kids. Come on, kids, come on, open up your mouth, Kara Bara Bara. It's a little bit more. Ara ba 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 all right kids everybody lift up your hands and i want you to repeat this say daddy speak to me lord show me who you are tell me what's on your mind tell me what's on your heart i want to hear your voice Close your eyes. Just hear God speak to you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God give you a picture, wave your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Bible says the boy Samuel ministered before the Lord. The anointing is not a respecter of age, it's not a respecter of position, it's not a respecter of gender or creed. The boy Samuel ministered to the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. feeling the Holy Spirit? Yeah, do you feel God touching you and caressing you right now? Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, yeah, yeah. Any, 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 anybody not hear God speak to you? Wave your hand if you feel like you didn't hear God speak to you yet. Wave your hand. Yeah? Okay, anybody else? Yeah, anybody else? Okay. All right. All right, this is what I want you to do. Do you want to hear God speak to you? God wants to speak to you, okay? He's always speaking. Daddy loves to speak. Amen? All right? So all you got to do is, is repeat this prayer. All right? All kids, once again, one more time, say, Jesus, I want to hear your voice. Open up my ears. Open up my heart so that I can hear you, Lord. Speak to me. I am listening. In Jesus' name. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit, I pray for these children that there'll be a double portion that's rising up out of them. I pray that there'll be a double portion coming up out of them, Lord. Father God, I pray that every single one of these kids, that they will know your word, they will hear you speak, that they'll prophesy your word like never before. I pray let the fire of God, let the power of God, let it flow, God. I pray, Jesus, that they will see you. I see prophetic paintings. I see prophetic dancing. I see flagging. I see dancing with flagging coming forth. There's going to be a new movement of creativity that's coming out of these children, a creative movement of glory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, bam, 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 bam. All right, I, I, I want to pray for them. I'm going to lay my hands on them, okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah, kids, just come forward. I want to pray for you, okay? If I could have some catchers, okay?